All right, today we're checking sensors, H2O innovation, vacuum sensors, end of the line sensors. These are singles, only one, one port on them. Um, these are the older generation. H2O just came out with a brand new style last they year. They did? They did. And I don't have any of those just yet. Probably going to get some for next season, for 2021. Um, so this first generation, I, ha I end up putting them inside a waterproof box cover. And right today, we're just... How have I almost done? We're getting there. Just turning everything on, going through them. And checking the battery levels. You're going to put them out in the woods here in, you know, next couple weeks. So we're just changing out anything that's low. Just going through and changing them out. I believe a lot of these have been in over two seasons. I usually get about two seasons on them. Even if they're about 70%, I will put them in the woods. Um, it'll still it'll Wait, still make it through the season. What if they die in the woods? If they die in the woods, then we have to change the batteries in the woods. It's not that big a deal. So that's what we're doing here. <laughs> we're about we're about halfway through. Almost done. It's about 50 cents or so. Okay. Hit the go button. This is starting a fire with a yeah. drone. That's pretty good. Okay, up. Yeah. You gotta hold it down. Okay. Little drone. Works good. Morning. So it's been a few days. Um, we bought some totes. Bought four more totes. So now we got 20 of these bad boys. Waiting for some more stickers. A PVF maple sticker. I gotta get a couple more made. Uh, so got those cleaned off and ready to go over to the sugar house. 350 gallons a piece. Kind of nice to get some of these. Um, releaser, you've seen that releaser, that's done. Uh, one small tank. We got a couple more in stock still, so get those while you can. Uh, I got a small releaser being built right now. This is a 12-inch tube. It's going to be, there's one pump in it. What we're actually going to do is bring this right here, right here. This app going to come in right here. It's coming from a, another releaser that's going to be, a, that's above this currently, up up high. It's, uh, I think it's a 24-inch wide uh, CDL releaser you know regular manual dumper and we're gonna we're gonna hook this small releaser right into it have sap come into it and then he can pump into his tank we're, we, it's just gonna be better for this situation and what he's doing um, so he still has the dumping capabilities if power went out or something like that of course it doesn't dump until the vacuum would be you know all released if it was a, if it was a no power situation but anyways so that's, that's just about done, waiting for a couple of electrical parts. But over here, we have a new project that we're working on. And this is a stainless steel releaser. This is gonna be at our sugar house. And there's a whole big spiel that goes along with this, the, the test that it's gonna be, um, something we've been learning. But stainless steel, I just welded a couple fittings in. This will be sap coming in. Sap going out of the pump. This is a tri clamp. This is a six inch stainless pipe. Big thick cover. Pump's gonna be hooked onto that. Um, so yeah, this is all new. That's a two horsepower pump right there. But what we came up with was, because I know you have to clean these pumps, you know, that screen right there will get dirty. And if you take the screen off, you're kind of silly because it will gum up the stages in the pump after a fashion. It's just not a good idea to take the screen off. So we did this in two pieces. Take the cover off here. So we actually can separate the two pieces. So what we'll do is we're gonna probably mount the upper half to something solid, a post or whatever there's the wall. I'm not sure exactly how that's gonna be, but 
Um, we're gonna mount that solid so the bottom can actually pop off. And the way that works out, as you can see, put this down on here. We can see the screen. You know, screen's easily seen in that bottom half, that bottom section, so. Yeah, it'll be a little cumbersome to take apart, but that's okay, because this whole test, this whole thing, this whole test revolves around being able to get more vacuum. And I'll dive into that a little more when I get this a little bit further along, um, what we're doing. So, but it's got to, it's got to do with head and um, just, it's completely different than what we were, what we were thinking. We just learned this recently, so um, learn something new every day. You know, obviously as a sugar maker, you want to always achieve the highest vacuum possible and maintain it. Trouble is we've learned that some of these pumps, you know, once you get 28 and above 28, the pumps really drop off on what they're capable of pumping out of the vacuum. You know, you get, so you just keep getting bigger pump and bigger pump and bigger pump and, and it's still, you know, you buy a pump that's rated for 30 gallons a minute and you're only getting, you know, 12 out of it at 28 inches. So then you end up needing more pumps and, it's kind of more headache. So anyways, um, with what we're gonna test here, hopefully it will lead us to getting a more powerful vacuum pump, more CFMs, and essentially higher vacuum. So we'll see what happens and I will keep you posted. And we still have bourbon barrels in stock. This is only a little five gallon one just for show basically, but I still have some in stock. So if you wanna give us a call for some bourbon barrels, see you soon. It's snowy. It's not snowing real hard, but it's snowy. And as you can see, the snow on the lines, it's kind of a problem. My hands got cold, my gloves got wet the first half an hour. So I had to change gloves and put on a thicker, big, silly, thick pair, which are very cumbersome. And then of course, if you are pushing spouts on with a tool, which I am here, there's a lot of problems with said tool. Ugh. If you can see in the tool, the buildup that gets in there, you gotta clean that out like every 25 or so spouts. Really don't like that. So if you're gonna tap in the snow, got to be prepared I guess and just know that it's gonna suck so it is what it is but as you see I got my big dumb glove a little bit of ice in there things are frozen a little bit but yeah the biggest issue being the tool getting all clogged up with snow, you know, cause the snow that's, as you can see the snow that's on that line, that snow's on the drop also, you know, and you try to wipe it off, but some of it's icy and stuck on there from the rain we had the last couple of days. So whatever, here we go. We're getting started anyways. I'm getting started. I'm gonna head back to the four wheeler now and it's pretty near one o'clock, so. I did get about 450 out, I guess. A couple hours of tapping, just get started. You always gotta figure out what's gonna go wrong or what's gonna go right. So far, these new snow pants I bought, these waterproof, waterproof pant things you see on like the internet, on Facebook or eBay or whatever. They're not so bad, they're, they're comfy. They're not cold, they're not too bad, they're not cold. I do have a pair of thin, thin long johns on underneath, but. I think I need a size bigger because the little the, the little zippers for the pockets seem to be ruined. <laughs> I split them right open. So I guess they're maybe a little too tight. I don't know. So anyways, back to the four-wheeler we go here. So it's the end of the day. Sometimes working in the woods can be pretty miserable all day. Mega snowstorm. But then when you walk out and you see a nice sunset, of course the camera doesn't really do it justice. It's much prettier in person. But anyways, 
then you get to walk back to the four-wheeler. I wanted to get going before it got dark because I was afraid the boogeyman might come out and get me. Look at that. Just red sun. Red. Wicked. It's supposed to be red at night, Sailor's Delight. I know it's going to be cold tomorrow. Oh, four-wheeler. Uh, I'm going to love to sit on the seat on this four-wheeler if I don't trip and fall first. Look at that. That's pretty. Uh.